Good morning students. Today I am back again with a new very interesting topic about a precious gift of nature that is water. This is chapter 4 My Needs Water page number 18 from your EVS book. So let's start children. Water is a precious gift of nature. We cannot live without water. Plants and animals also need water. So here we understood we cannot live a single day without water. Now I will show you some uses of water. It is used for drinking. It is used for bathing. It is used to clean the house. It is used to wash fruits and vegetables. It is used for cleaning utensils. It is used for washing clothes. It is used for cooking. It is used to water the plants. It helps in putting out fire. So, have you understood what are the uses of water? Now come to water for animals. Why water is very essential for our life? Some animals live in water. As we human beings live in our house, like that some animals live in water. Like frog, crocodile, fish and many more. They are called water animals. In spite of living, animals need water for drinking and bathing purpose. Now come to water for plants. Why water is essential for plants to live? Because they make their food with the help of water. And not only food, many plants grow only in water like lotus and water lily. Now, Give six examples of activities that we do with water. They are drinking, bathing, cooking, washing clothes, clean the house and wash fruits. These all are the six activities that we do with water. Now come to the next part. Sources of water. Rain is the main source of water. Rain water gets collected in ponds, lakes and rivers. So, what is the main source of water? Rain is the main source of water. Not only rain, river, lake, ponds are also the sources of water. Now come to the underground water. Water from these sources is sent to large storage places like dams and overhead tanks. From there, it reaches our homes through pipes. We get water at home by turning on a tap. Not only turning on a tap, we can get underground water through hand pump and well. Now the next part is this huge amount of water where to store and how to keep it clean. Storage of water. Water that comes to our houses is stored in water tanks. Some buildings to have huge water tanks where water is stored. In our homes water is stored in large containers such as buckets drums and vessels. Now here something we have to remember children. It is very important to store water properly. The container used to store water must be clean. Do not throw waste near or in water. Now come to the next part. Tick the right answer. We should always drink clean water. So, here have to write down clean. Number two, water is colorless. Colorless 
is the right option that I have written. Number three, water reaches our homes through mail, pipes or air. So pipes are, is the right option. So I have written. Now come to write true or false. Plants can grow without water. This statement is false. So I have written F here. You also copy it. Number two, water has no shape. This is also a true statement. So I have written T. Number three, we should waste water. This is a false statement. So I have written F. Number four, we should dirty the water bodies. This is a false statement. So, write it down F. Number 5. Water has smell. This is also a false statement. So, write it down F. Now, come to answer the following. Question number 1. Why do we need water? We need water to live. Question number 2. Name any two uses of water. Drinking and bathing are the two uses of water. Number 3. How can we keep the sources of water clean? Water container must be clean. Do not throw waste near or in water. Question number four. Write four sources of water. Rain, hand pump, well and river. Question number five. Write any two ways in which we can reuse water. Use washing machine's water to flush the toilet. Use kitchen water to water the plants. So, this much for today. You prepare your lesson well. Till then, take care.